Shalika for Medico Awesome. The other day, I was at my ER and there came a patient with head injury. So, uh, suddenly my resident asked me, Okay, tell me what's the GCS? So, I was taking some time to count, you know, the Glasgow Coma Scale, which is typically used for patients with uh, head injury. And... Uh, so I thought of making a mnemonic for all of you guys to help you remember it easily. So uh, GCS is Glasgow Coma Scale and uh, the minimum value is 3 while the maximum is 15. So within this GCS um, there are 3 components. Uh, the first one is eye opening. The next one is following the verbal commands and the next one is uh, motor responses. To remember this, uh, I made a mnemonic of, uh, I made a small story. You know, uh, about this head injury patient, his name, uh, firstly I saw this news on a sports channel called ESSPN. ESSPN is a new sports channel which was earlier called ESPN. And uh, then I came to know that this guy was high on some drug called Vocaine. Not exactly cocaine, it's Vocaine. And then I, when I saw the patient, I um, realized it was my old friend Ben. So the mnemonic goes as ESSPN, Vocane and my old Ben. So coming down to the components, uh, the E in the ESSPN is for eye opening. We will see about S, S, P and N. So, uh, one thing you can uh, notice that each one of the mnemonic ends with an N. So, N stands for nil. So, um, this is how it goes. The S is a spontaneous eye opening. And uh, then uh, this S is uh, eye opening on sound means you call the patient you ask them to open the eyes and due to the sound they open the eyes the p stands for painful stimulus the eye opening uh, occurs on painful stimulus and there is no eye opening so we uh, score each one of them as one two three and four so the nil, the N component in each one of them um, has a score of 1. Then coming to verbal commands, the Vokin, uh V stands for verbal commands and we can uh, spell down the other mnemonic O, C, A, I and N. So again the N in this one would be nil and um, the rest is a little dicey. So, um, when it is O, the patient is oriented. So, what is the opposite of uh, being oriented? It's being confused. So, C is confused. So, there are two I's in this. Uh, so, I thought of um, differentiating between them. So, this I is for inappropriate words. And this one you can use it for incomprehensible. So uh, these are for verbal commands. So start scoring them 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Uh, coming back to uh, motor responses. Um, my old Ben. So the my is for motor. And um, spell it down to O L D B E N. 
n again in this case is nil and uh, you can think of e as extension the patient is in extended position and uh, that is uh, decerebrate rigidity and uh, b uh, you can think of bends bends as in um, it would be like um, decorticate rigidity to re uh, remember that which one uh, is for extension and which one is for flexion i have another mnemonic that decerebrate has enough ease to make you think about extension so this d is for withdraws as in the patient withdraws when you try to uh, uh, you know try to uh, elicit a motor response and um, this l is for localizes pain and this o is for obeys commands obeys all your motor commands and you can again start numbering this and scoring this as 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 a couple of times um, when you revise this mnemonic um, you can be like super fast and you can just look at the patient and tell its gcs is 3 so that will be like it's not the patient is not opening the eyes it's not following he's not following the verbal command and it's also not eliciting any motor response so that is something which you need to uh, recall and you can you need to use it again and again to have it on the tip of your tongue a quick revision like eye opening essspn spontaneous eye opening or eye opening on sound eye opening on painful stimulus and none so 4 3 2 for verbal commands vocane vocane is for verbal commands oriented confused inappropriate words incomprehensible words and nil and uh, then motor responses are my old ben obeys commands localizes withdraws bends that is decorticate rigidity and you can also think of uh, bends as uh, flexion you know patient is in flexion uh, arms and legs everything flexed and then extension decerebrate rigidity and nil so if you add up 4 plus 5 plus 6 that is 15 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 so gcs is never zero you can uh, just take a note of it anyway uh, stay awesome bye